Ron Lemon joins us on the fast break as we look to a matchup with Duquesne and St. Bonaventure. Ron, we talked about this briefly Thursday, but this is going to be a matchup that may dictate which direction St. Bonaventure goes in for the rest of the season. The Duquesne Duke didn't have necessarily the strongest non-conference schedule, so I think their record may be a little misleading, but they have played fairly well in the conference. On the road, it's not easy to win in the Atlantic 10. I think the Bonnies are going to find the arena down there a difficult place to play in. This is a long and storied rivalry between the two. It's the 119th time they're meeting. Nationally televised game, it'll give St. Bonaventure and uh, Duquesne both good exposure. It's going to be a red out type of environment. All the students are being asked to wear red. Can that play mind tricks? This may be as hostile as they face this year. I think it shows that both sides know the importance of the game. It's pivotal towards where they each end the regular season at the end of the year so that their seeding for the playoffs will be determined. This won't be the first time they've ever faced it. It's just a matter of if they can shoot or not. One of the things that I liked that Mark Schmidt did in the last game was to give Nelson Caputo an opportunity to get in there and play. And, of course, uh, if he can come off the bench and be a spark plug like he was against George Mason, if he can do that against Duquesne, I like the Bonnie's chances. Some of the numbers as uh, Ron Lemon and Ryan Hedrick run the fast break this afternoon on WNY Sports, now talking St. Bonnie's hoops. The series record, Ron, is tied at 59 apiece. Duquesne has a young kid, Eric Williams Jr., is a four-time A-10 Rookie of the Week. He's going to be tough to contend, but as you just pointed out, that experience could play a huge role. Just as much as he's going to be something to contend with, with Nelson Caputo stepping up and becoming an uh, offensive threat for St. Bonaventure, if Caputo is used, it will give Duquesne matchup fit, just as they provide some for us. Uh, our big guys really got to step up and play to their potential and maybe even above that. So let's take a look at the A-10 standings real quick. Rhode Island, Richmond, Davidson, one, two, three. In fact, there's a three-way tie for second place and then you get to the likes of St. Bonaventure. Duquesne is a game ahead. Would you classify this as a must win tomorrow in Pittsburgh? With the record of the teams moving forward, St. Bonaventure still could finish in that second spot and this I believe this would be a must win for them to be able to reach as high as the second seed but certainly because the top four teams both get uh, double buys uh, I think it's pivotal that you finish in the top four, but I still think it's possible for them to finish in the second spot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. Ron Lemon joining us on the Fast Break. Ron, thank you so much. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll catch up next week for the next edition of Fast Break.